Let's run this thing. I got this thing on full throttle, dude. Look. That's on full throttle. Look, it's closing by itself. Everything. It's a hurricane in here. I am back at the reef. Man, I have a big topic here. Hold up if you have a reef because I had an issue last week. Power went out where I live from 1 a.m. to 5 a.m. It was gone. Water temp, water went down to here because it goes down the overflows. And the water temp went from 78 down to almost 74, right? You could lose a tank real fast if you're not paying attention. So I went out and I found the cheapest generator quietest cheapest generator i could find to power the reef that's everything i'm hoping it's gonna power everything i don't know i mean take another box yet we're gonna unbox it together and take a look at it it's the cheapest one i could find we're also gonna find out if it will run a swamp cooler with everything it's asking a lot man because you can't run an ac unit on a, on a generator it's hard to do so a swamp cooler you can and i live in the valley it gets really hot here in the summer it gets 110 112 some 115 sometimes you lose the power on a brownout on that you're in serious trouble so we're gonna see, did this generator, This I'll tell you what I paid for it. We'll see if it powers up everything. We'll see if I can get it all working on that one generator. Coming up on BTUF. Okay, well here it is. This is the iPower 2000 watt, or it says 2000 starting watts. I don't know what that means, um, but it says 2000 starting watts and 1600 running watts. So I guess we'll just call it 1600. I may have misspoken with 2000, but it says 2000 starting watts, 1600 running watts. Um, it is a, Quiet. It's supposed to be a quiet generator. We're going to find out how quiet it is. Um, it has multiple connections from standard AC plugins to some other stuff that looks a little heavier duty. I don't know, man. But we're going to open it up. $2.99 on eBay. It's the cheapest one I could find that was a quiet one. I wanted a small, quiet one. So we're going to open it up and see what's in there. Okay, it doesn't come with any oil in it. So we're going to have to put oil in it, of course, fuel. Now, I don't know if this is the older model because I did see on Amazon that they have, which it looks like the same model, like the iPower, but it's, um, it was like, I don't know, I'll look at the, I'll, I'll put a price thing in there so you can see it in the thing, but I think it was a little bit more. But this was $2.99 and it said brand new. It's not supposed to be uh, refurbished or used or anything like that. So it has the quick start guide. And we have, it looks like, some, that's pretty cool. So they actually give you some connections, like some con, you know converters, adapters that you can put in there. So if you do have different stuff, you'll be able to do that. It looks like it also has something that would be a, a battery charger cord. That's pretty cool. So it comes with a battery charger cord that should plug into it. And then it has some other connections to uh, parallel cables. So I think this is a, it said it was parallel generator as well. So I am going to, and it comes with a funnel. That's pretty cool. They actually give you that to put the oil in. So I'm going to set this down. I'm going to pull this out. Fairly heavy. I would say probably, uh, 40 pounds, I think. 40 pounds. Okay. It's a pretty nice looking unit. I mean, it looks streamlined, right? Okay, there we go. Whew. Okay, so here it is. We're looking at it, and it does have the standard plug that you see in all their houses and has some other ones. Um, so I wonder, is it a, a pull plug? It's got to be, all right? Yeah, so it looks like the pull plug's over here, right? It's got a choke, so when you fire it up, like any generator, it probably... You have to have it in the choke mode. It's going to go pop, 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 pop. And then once it does, you move it to the run mode and it's going to run normal. So let's see here. Uh, so you have your output indicator. That's probably me green. Ours are on, off. Pretty straightforward. Um, here's a ground terminal. I don't know if you're going to need that. Um, this is the parallel adapters right here. So it looks like a pretty nice system though. I mean, it almost kind of looks like a Honda and it's probably about, uh, I don't know what the Hondas go for, like 900 bucks, maybe a thousand. So it's a small fraction of that, a third the price almost. But uh, okay, so here it is. Basic unit, pretty streamlined, pretty nice looking. 
I'll kind of rotate this around here. It's got the vent back here in the back. So overall, it's nice. I mean, it looks like a nice piece, right? So I've never heard of iPower though. That's the only thing. I've heard of Honda. Uh, I've never heard of iPower, but that doesn't mean it's going to be a bad unit. So, and it did get a lot of good reviews, the iPower stuff. So let's get it all done up. Let's put some oil in it. Let's uh, put some fuel in it, fire it up and just hear what it sounds like. Let's just see if it's quiet before we get started. To put oil in, you actually have to remove the side panel here, which might be normal. I don't know. I haven't looked at generators in a long time, but panels here. Okay, there we go. Okay, so here's the motor, and this is the fill on the oil. All right, so it says to add almost half a quart. So we'll add half a quart. So we got the oil in, and if you do put oil in, it says to put in like 40% of a quart, and do not do what I do, which is put 50% in, because 50% is too much, and it overflowed just a tick. So we'll button this back together. And I used a 1030 oil, that's what it said. So I, I used a synthetic. All right, so it says to add just a tick over a gallon. Let's take a look at what we're going to be powering up. There's a lot of stuff here, man. I opened this up and I was all thinking like, whoa, I hope that thing can do this because this is a lot of power. Um, we've got two heaters, right? So two heaters. Um, this is the skimmer pump right here. This operates the main pump that sends the water back up into the system. Uh, this is an LED that lights up down here. I'm not too concerned about that. Uh, we do have a wave maker here and I have an auto top off here, which I ne wouldn't necessarily need. Um, we do have a light right here. I have another one right here and I have three LEDs um, 165 watts each up there. It's a lot of stuff. So I think what I'm going to do, you see, I have everything plugged in. Like I have everything going into these and then these going in direct. So I do have a multi, I've got one of these and I think we just unplug it and plug it in right to this and see if it all operates. I don't know, man. And then the real test is if we can get this to magically operate without blowing the fuse, we're going to bring the swamp cooler in and plug it in and see if it will operate with everything as well. So let's just go for it, man. I know this is crazy, dude, because I'm like looking at this. I mean, how many plugs we got here? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 things going on right now. Actually, it's more than that. 13, 14, 15. It's 15 plugs for this reef tank. 15 things working. Whoa, that's a lot. Okay, let's do it. I'm holding my breath now because I'm like, I don't know about this. Hope it'll cause a fire. All right, let's try it. Okay, so we are going to put it in the start choke mode. We're going to flip it to on and we're going to pull it and hope for the best. So here we go. Okay, am I doing it right? On, choke, good. Okay, is there any priming I got to do? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let it run for a second. So, there you go, man. So it's very quiet. You can hear my voice, right? I would say this is probably on the same quiet level as the Honda. It's not loud at all. So we'll let that run for about a few minutes here and let it get warmed up. And then we'll go get a cord from here and we'll start up plugging things and hooking them all up and well, we'll see, man, if you can do it. Okay, I am ready to plug in. There is one thing I wanna say, is that, and I just noticed this, is that you are removing the plugs from a GF, GFI, right? I think that's what it is, a GFI switch, which actually helps protect you from electrocution. So if you are doing this, while this is on the generator, I would definitely do your best not to put your hands in the water. I would do that. And 
like I said, hopefully that thing has a trip on it because that is the only danger that I see is that there's no, you know, emergency, you know, ground switch. So here we go. I'm going to take the first one out. Okay. Now that's, that is the main, go here, excuse my big belly here. Okay. Okay, so I'm trying to see if it's working or not. So I'm gonna open this up. Let's see if it's working. I think everything, yep, yeah, it's all working. Yeah, skimmer's working. Everything's working, surprisingly. Okay, so we know that the main, the main switch is working, the filters are working, everything's working right now. The whole system is working, it's operating. Now I'm going to do the lights. The lights is probably the big drag on it, right? So I'm going to unplug the lights. Oh, dude, just a little spark coming out of there. Okay, here we go. And I'm going to plug it in. This is the moment of truth right here. Okay, lights are on. Let's see if everything else is working. No change in the sound of the generator. Okay. All right, so it's working. I'm liking that because that was like one of the problems that I had is that I was wondering, it's like, man, is this stuff gonna operate? We even have an AC unit down here. I didn't point to that earlier. I wanna make sure I get that pointed down there. We have an AC unit hooked up to this thing too. A lot of stuff plugged in. Okay. Okay, man, everything is working right now, but I'm gonna let it sit and run for a half hour, right? I'm gonna feel the cord, see if it feels hot. Um, we're gonna let this thing sit and then after 30 minutes, it, hopefully everything's still going. I want to get the swamp cooler bring it in here. We'll plug that in. It doesn't need water in it. I just want to make sure the fans working because that's, you know, that's all it uses, but then we'll know. Now, if you are in a situation where power is out and it's probably at night, but if you are in a brownout, whatever it is, whenever the power goes out, I would recommend just turning the LEDs off. You don't have to have, or your lights off. You don't have to have those on. You want to have your heaters and your pumps. That's what you want working, right? And maybe your AC unit, if it's in the summer, make your AC unit, right? But you don't need the lights. In fact, you want the lights. If, if you have a brownout because of the heat, you definitely don't want your lights on. You want to turn that off. So anyway, so, but I want to stress the system here. I want to make sure that this all works. But right now, I'm pretty pumped, dude, because I was like, when I looked at all those switches, I was like, man, this may not work. This may be a bomb here. But so far, it's working. Let's let it sit for a half hour. Let's go get the uh, swamp cooler, bring it in, and let's really stress that system and see if that... Uh, I power is going to be able to run everything on this reef tank. One thing I would recommend if you do get a generator for your reef tank, or even if you get it for any reason that you're going to have multiple things, get a heavy duty plug like this, right? I think, I don't know what the amperage is, but this is probably the heaviest duty one they have at Home Depot. And um, because if you use too thin, and I just had this problem when we were doing a, a thing at the trailer, if you use too thin of gauge, it'll get really hot. And you don't want that. So there's no heat coming from this right now. That means the power that it's using uh, is sustainable in that cable. So use good cable. I got the lights, full throttle, everything going down there. Here we go. Whoa. And there we go, man. Everything right now running. Swamp coolers, LEDs. What, I don't know how many pumps are down there. One, two, three pumps, four pumps if you count the skimmer, AC unit, everything right there running on the iPower. Let's go out there and take a look at it. Let's go take a look. It's a windstorm in here right now. Okay, let's go see what's going on out here. iPower is still running strong. There's no overload. All right. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let that run. What do you think? Like 15 minutes, that'll give us a good idea, right? We'll let it run for 15 minutes. And uh, everything full power. I guess I could put this on full power. Whoa. Whoa. It's a tornado in here, dude. <laughs> Look at it. It's moving itself, dude. All right. 
So let's run this thing. I got this thing on full throttle, dude, look. That's on full throttle, look, it's closing by itself. Everything, it's a hurricane in here. So we got the swamp, everything running full throttle, everything I can push towards it. All right, let's let this run 15 minutes. We'll shut her down and I'll give you my conclusion. All right, one thing about this generator is it has uh, different idles. When more amperage is being drawn, the idle goes up. And when less amperage is being used, the idle goes down. So it saves fuel when it's not being used as much. Um, let me show you, let's see how much fuel we've used. So we've been out here for about an hour. Let's see if you can see this. And we're still almost full after one hour. So it gives you a lot of run time. I don't know if it says how long it'll run, but let's see here. Yeah, seven hours. Seven hours run time on a full tank of fuel. That's pretty cool. Uh, actually, so let me... So it runs for seven hours at half of its load. So if you're pushing it at 800 watts, which is a lot, that's a lot, man. Think about, you know, 800 watts is quite a bit. And so at that, it'll go seven hours. So I just hit it in the off position. I'm trying to figure out why it revved up. Oh man, check this out. I didn't even know this. So you see there's two modes here, right? If I put it here, it's a lower idle. Hear that? If I want to speed it up, see the rabbit? I hit this. So that's not power on off. That's actually idle mode. I didn't realize that. So I had it. I had ran that whole system. I'm running the entire system on, on the turtle, on the low idle. Now, I think it will automatically go up on the idle if it's being drained out too hard. But, man, I ran that whole thing on low mode, which will give you seven hours of run time if you run it on that, on one tank of fuel, which is one gallon of fuel. So one gallon of fuel will give you seven hours of, um, you know, low idle. All right, I actually let it sit for a half hour. I'm shutting her down. We're shutting down. Well, I got to say that I am impressed. The iPower $300 generator ran the entire system. Been doing it for probably an hour now, everything. And it's still running strong. Max lights, pumps, you name it. That's a good backup system. And I, here's the thing. Some of you people out there that are in reefing are buying corals that cost 300 bucks. So do yourself a favor and get yourself a generator if you don't have one. Uh, it's funny because when you need one, you don't have one, you start freaking out. It's better to have it and not need it. Isn't that what they say? So there you go, man. That is a, uh, that is, look at Poppy over here eating that stuff. I was wondering why his belly's getting so big. Look at Poppy eating the algae. Look at Poppy. Anyway, there you go. That is a review of the iPower. I'll put some links in. I, like I said, that's I got that on eBay. I don't know if it was last year's model or what, but dude, it did, I just showed you, man. This thing can definitely hold up a reef tank and it ain't even pushing it. You saw the lights out there, the indicator lights. So there you go, man. There's a look and a way, a cheap safety thing for your tank or for anywhere you're at where you may be drawing power, not, you may not even have a reef tank. Maybe you want something around your house. So if the power does go out, you have some backup. The iPower, I would definitely say it's a pretty good deal. All right, this is Billy at BTUF.